for people who are probably first timers to DevCon, what would you tell them? Because you've been there for a long time. This is my second time. Oh, actually, it's my third time in DevCon now. I think second or third time. But what would you tell the messaging for people who are coming for the first time to DevCon? What like what would your recommendation be as someone who's been there for a long time or coming for a long time? Yeah, I've been coming since DevCon 16. So, or no, DevCon oh, wow. 14 actually. DevCon 14. Um, Jeez, we're 31 now, so it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah, <laughs> I I love DevCon. I think nowadays my operating procedure and what I would recommend to new people, like people going from my company for the first time this year, you know, I recommend like the actual talks, the big main stage talks, will be on recording eventually, right? And so, I won't spend the time to stand in line for like the big main stage talks personally. I will go to these villages because you're not guaranteed that these will be recorded or anything like that. And so I love, you know, obviously I, I'm involved in the AI village. I'm also involved in the red team village, which is a mm. stellar, it is a stellar village as well. The AppSec village, the cloud village and the social engineering village. Yeah. And then the recon village. I mean, like all those villages are packed full of great mini talks that, I mean, like you might only get to see at DEF CON, right? So going yeah. to those is really, you know, like bouncing between the villages tends to be what I do every year. You know, if you're a newcomer, make sure you stop by the CTF and chill out area, right, to see, you know, those are some of the best reverse engineers and hackers in the world competing for what is basically the World Cup of hacking, right? And just just get to sit in the, you know, the DEF CON CTF area and absorb that kind of vibe is really fun, you know, to get a practical introduction to social engineering, sitting and listening to the social engineering village and the challenges live of people vishing people is, it's amazing to, to hear. And then the vendor floor too has a bunch of swag and vendors that you can go talk with and like just chill out. And I mean, there's so much to do at DEF CON these days. There's no way you're going to be able to cover it all in one visit, but um, <laughs> that's that's kind of how I break out my time. So. Oh, fair enough. Also, yeah, at least find at least two or three villages that you would like to spend your yeah. best your time on. Yeah. But bring your personality as well, would you say? I, I feel like as a first timer last year or year before, I was definitely like surprised by how much of their own personality they were people bringing in. It's like, I mean, you could be whatever you would like to be, a, or no matter how you dress or yeah. how you would present yourself. I had people right. walking around with, I think, what looked like a monitor on their head or yeah. some sort. It's yeah. awesome just kind of see all of that. Oh, no. I mean, our, our tribe is very special, right? It's It's inclusive and you know we, we have people walking around in you know in furry outfits and stuff like that you know down the hall sometimes and it's great like i i i, I love the defcon scene and vibe it's it's a special special tribe to be a part of you can be yourself there's you know there's there's always something for everyone really yeah. there's a whole nightlife associated to defcon black hat too you know that happens you know the little parties that break out into hotel rooms and you know, you, you manage to do hallway con with someone and have a really good conversation about a thing you're interested in. So, I mean, my general advice is just be open to talking to people, right? I mean, like everybody's there for kind of the same reason is to learn and have fun and, and be around the same vibe that you are. And so yeah. I think that just being open to making like cool friendships and, and relationships is, is really cool. So that's awesome. And that's, that's yeah. a good way to summarize as well. I, and I would uh, definitely say, check out all the villages. I mean, yeah, make your top three if you can, but there is one village which apparently, I think it's called Hacksat Village, I think. They yeah, have, Hackasat. The Hackasat. They, I think they have a device orbiting on SpaceX, which is going to try and hack from Quant. So yeah. if that's your vibe. Listen, <laughs> if, you're, if your vibe is actual hacking into physical stuff, I mean, there is... There is that, there's Hackasat, and then there's the car hacking village as well. I don't know if, I don't know if they're going to have a live car there, but several years in a row, they've had a live car, like a Tesla or a Honda or something there to hack yeah, into. Yeah. I've been involved with them in the past. So, I mean, there is, there is stuff everywhere. Yeah. 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 Oh, right, yeah. Cause I think last year there was a Tesla there as well. So yeah, there was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I mean, people, that. people had popped off the doors and stuff and <laughs> it was, it was crazy. Yeah. So oh, yeah. I, I think, well, another thing I would say is badges as well. That's just yeah. a badge of honor. Badge for like a yeah. Yeah. That, that's pretty yeah. cool as well. There's yeah. a lot of people put into that. Yeah. Yeah, for oh, sure. If you're, oh. if you like the blinky badge life, you know, there'll be drops of special badges. In fact, I might have some badges for my company's brand at the thing. So just keep an eye out on Twitter. If you uh, definitely if you say hi to Jason, if you yeah, see yeah. him, so <laughs> yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to keep my, my stickers there as well for, yes, nice. as well for people. So there you go. So, but if you, if you do see Jason or myself, definitely say hello at any of the villages at Defcon or Black Hat, if you see us around. Definitely check out talks from Jason as well. He's got his, he's got eight talks, I think. You've got eight talks on your I have eight talks, yeah. Eight talks across both things. Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely leave Jason's uh, Twitter handle there for people to follow. But otherwise, I am looking forward to seeing you in person, Jason. And everyone else yep. is gonna come and say hello to us as well. 
enjoy this few days before the storm in defcon but yeah uh, for we'll sure see you, we'll see you all there all right yeah thanks everyone see ya